What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Heading over to this service call, an existing customer, they had someone else install and replace their central air conditioning on the second floor of this mixed use property. First floor is a dental office. Second floor is an office space and an apartment. Ever since it's been installed, they've had problems with this system. This is the first time that we're going there to check it out. So let's get going. I'm gonna give you a little, a little scenic route drive from Atlantic Beach to East Meadow. often um, the first time we try to put it on or like shortly after the switch goes uh, the fuse goes off circuit breaker circuit breaker in the basement <laughs> I got a lot on my plate <laughs> it's okay so the circuit um, breaker in the basement uh, trips for the yes, one upstairs and one for downstairs some reason, up here okay for some reason we don't know why all right so the thermostat is saying that the fan is on but nothing is blowing I know, I don't want You're good? To. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Keep going. And All the way back there. And on the right is a light switch. Okay. Not a very good light switch. Nope. Second floor. It should be marked, I believe. That says toilet. <laughs> I don't know, but it does say toilet. Maybe the bidet seat. Yeah. Uh, everything is on there. Let's go to. Well, I switched it back and forth. Okay. This is. So this is tripped. Oh, that's tripped. That is tripped. AC second floor is tripped. Show me how. Show me what it should be. So right now you can see it's. I guess to the untrained eye, but it looks like it's like maybe like kind of in the middle. Uh huh. All right. So if we go that way, it's that's, off. Uh huh. Right. And if a breaker is ever in like in this position, that means someone turned it off. Right. And if it's ever in the middle, that means it tripped. So now the objective is to go like this. So that I know. To turn okay. it on. Oh, so now we need to find out why it's tripping. Yeah. Yep. And let's just make sure this other panel, which is marked first floor, everything there is pretty simple. Okay. All right, so we reset that breaker. Our outdoor unit is running. Quack, quack. So we need to determine what is causing this breaker to trip. Um, let's check with the obvious. We're going to grab the tool bag from the truck. We're gonna remove the electrical panel from the side unit right there. We're gonna check our amperage. in this ream. Sorry, not a ream. It's a rude. Let me not disrespect the ream. I mean the rude. Uh, let's take a look at the date. It's four years old. March 2020 manufacturer date. You can tell that uh, no one has ever cared for this unit before. Full of cocky. And how does our coil look? Can't tell. I need some light. Uh, she's wearing a uh, a baby a baby fur coat. Always the side closest to the structure. You're gonna have uh, accumulation of dirt there. All right, let's uh, check some amperage here. You gotta love how they just reuse the whip and disconnect when they put in this this condensing unit. And you know, I bet you they probably even reuse the old line set. 
Yeah, they sure did. Seven eighths and three quarter. And you know what? Sometimes, you know, you can blame it on the contract, but others you can blame it on the property owner who doesn't really give a flying F. You know what I mean? Alright, 9.2 amps on that white wire. 9.2 on the black wire. So that's 18.2 amps running on that 20 amp breaker. <laughs> what do you want to bet my uh, LRAs are pretty high? Let's go see. Let's uh, let's pull our disconnect. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a bit. We want the pressures to stabilize, and um, we're going to reinsert our disconnect and see what those max amperage readings are when this unit first kicks on. Um, while we're letting this stabilize, let's take a moment and let's check our our dual capacitor right there and the contactor. First thing I'm gonna do is discharge the capacitor by touch terminals together like that. And now I'm gonna remove the wiring. Now our purple wire was on the terminal post with three of them. The brown, which is usually fan, is on that two terminal post. And our oranges are on the four. Now for those of you who don't know, Four is always going to be common, generally, right? Three is always going to be HERM, which is hermetically sealed compressor, and two is going to be our fan. Let's set our multimeter to read capacitance, and let's check our leads right here, and let's put one on common, and let's just take that off. I don't need this on there right now, and let's test to HERM, and we're getting 44.8. And to fan, we're getting 5.2. So this is a good capacitor. What I like to do also is do the shake test. We're gonna take this out of there. Okay, we're gonna take this capacitor out and we're gonna shake it. And you can hear the liquid swooshing around inside there. And ladies and gentlemen, you think I'm crazy, but go to your truck right now and take your brand new capacitor out of your truck and shake it. You're not gonna hear anything in it. I've never heard one swooshing around with liquid inside of it. So this made in India, which I'm surprising it's made in India, not made in China with Chinesium inside of it, but this capacitor is no bueno. We're gonna replace it. All right, here's my new capacitor. This is the Titan HD, made in the US. It's a 45 over five, plus or minus 5%. You're not hearing anything inside this capacitor, that's for sure. All right, new capacitor is installed. Let's reinstall our disconnect and check that max amperage reading. Sixty-five point nine. Would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? You wonder why the breaker's tripping? Well, <laughs> she's underrated. Now let's see what size breaker this unit needs, and we need a minimum of twenty-three. And a max of 35. So we have an undersized breaker for this install. All right, before I button everything up there, use my leaf blower and blow out all the debris inside the unit. I got a nice soft rubber tip, so I'm not gonna short anything out. I'm not gonna disturb any wiring. But I'm gonna clean all that out. Very nice. All right, finished up the job with proper branding, company name, phone number, and website. You know I covered that one up there too.